Hi, I'm author Katie Davis, and I'm also an illustrator. And today I want to talk to you about how video will help you with your picture book writing. What? That's weird, right? What could making videos have to do with writing picture books? It's kind of like how skating can help you with your skiing. Different sport, but similar moves. A little while ago, I would have said there's nothing connecting picture books and video except for maybe marketing. But then I started thinking. Picture books are short and need to get to the point quickly. So do videos. People who read picture books have short attention spans. Squirrel! So does everyone these days. Creating videos for your picture books is like having your own personal trainer for your picture book marathon. For example, 12 by 12-er Beth Stillborn is taking my Video Idiot Bootcamp course and one day got really excited in our private Facebook group after having taken the storyboarding lesson, imagining how it could breathe life into her picture book writing. And she's right, most author illustrators do that already. Imagine using a storyboard if you're a writer and using visualization to create pacing and an arc for your characters and your story. Video is just another way of telling a story, and a storyboard can lay that all out for you. It's a tool. If you create one to two minute videos, that is akin to writing a tight, spare picture book manuscript. Let's look at how that's done in a video. College grad with math degree. First job, Wells Fargo. Bank gets held up by Billy the Kid's great-great-great-granddaughter. Realize story need to be written. Simon & Schuster begs you to allow them to publish it. Book hits multiple bestseller lists. Your dog eats nothing but caviar. Tim McKenna, yet another 12 by 12-er and another former video idiot, now video genius, said, Anyone who takes the time to shape out their videos with storyboards is absolutely honing skills that apply to telling stories through picture books. Pre-visualizing cuts and scenes in film and TV is absolutely essential, right? So why wouldn't that apply to books, especially picture books, which are inherently visual? As writers, we are often told to dummy up our stories after we write them, but I have sometimes found mocking up the shape of a 12-spread story through rough thumbnails to be very helpful in the brainstorming process before I write a word. Another VIBC student, Kim Norman, wrote to me, once I was hired to write a treatment for a company that makes 3D animations featuring a certain character who doesn't talk. I found it to be a fascinating creative exercise because I was forced to think totally visually rather than relying on some clever turn of phrase. Since it's very important to think visually when writing picture books, it was very good for me as a picture book writer. Even your fearless leader, Julie Hedlin, once relegated herself to the horrifying label, I cringe to even say it, non-visual person. Ugh. And after learning to make visuals, she told me that she had tapped into an, an entirely new form and source of inspiration from creating videos. And it completely changed how she created her picture books and storybook apps. So after learning visual storytelling through video, it changed how she worked. Even if you think you don't know anything about video or can't learn from video, please, please try. Not only is it the future of the internet, but it will help you create better books. And we all need that, right?